Hey guys, it's Amanda. So I've recently discovered Reddit. I know, I'm keeping up with the times, but it's a community where people chat about their interests, hobbies, you name it, it's probably on there. But there's some really great threads on there, so I thought I'd dive into one of them today. And the question was, it was posed to non-Americans, what do you think every American person has in their house? And I just thought there's probably going to be so many weird and wonderful answers. I just thought it'd be a really good one to start with. But before I get into some of the answers people gave, let me know in the comments, what do you think we keep in our houses? All right, so I have them up on my computer, so I'm just going to go through some of them and then we'll talk about them as we go through. So there's over 48,000 comments on this thread, so we're obviously not going to go through all of them because that would take forever. So let's just start at the top. A switch that you flick and it turns your sink into a blender. A trash smoothie. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually like the best name I've ever heard for it. But yes, loads of Americans have them. We never did, um, but my grandma did and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty standard. I feel like everyone talks about the sink. Everyone does. A coffee machine with a large glass jug full of black coffee being kept warm. The UK mostly has electric kettles for making hot drinks individually. Yep, yeah, again. But then that is one thing that we always did in the morning. Like we'd wake up, well, I lied. We would set the timer and set our machines and it would make the coffee for us. When we woke up in the morning, it'd just be there waiting for you. And we'd make a full pot and it would last all day. I mean, that just makes sense, doesn't it? You don't have to keep going back and making more. It's just there, voila. <laughs> Next one, peanut butter, air conditioner, disposal in the sink. Oh, we do love peanut butter. Peanut butter ice cream, peanut butter M&Ms, peanut butter and jelly, oh, peanut butter and jam. <laughs> I do absolutely love peanut butter. And I, I smooth or chunky, doesn't even matter. But yeah, that is very American, definitely. We, we put it on everything, if we can. I even like it with apples, dip it in apples. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> a plastic bag filled with plastic bags. Yeah, I still do that here. I thought everyone did that. Like you go to the shop, Asda, Tesco, wherever, you get your shop, then you have bags and you can use them like for the recycling or whatever, whatever you need them for. You just pull out one of the plastic bags from your plastic bags <laughs> and there you go. But now I feel like I might be a bit weird. <laughs> Let me know. Does anyone else do that? I mean, clearly someone thinks that we do and I do not quite feel at home that do. So let me know. Ranch dressing. Oh. I do love ranch dressing. You can get ranch dressing here, but Hidden Valley Ranch is incredible. I, oh, we'd have it on salads, but then salads are quite a big thing in the States. Like even in restaurants and stuff, like we would have salads on the menu, like chef salad, which would have like ham and turkey and cheese and all the other things, onions and tomatoes. Um, we'd have like apple and walnut salads and all different kinds. But my favorite thing to do with ranch dressing is to dip it with pizza. It is delicious and it's making me hungry thinking about it. All right, let's see, what's the next one here? Oh, this is such a good one. I didn't even think about this one. The microwave settings. So we have popcorn, pizza, and potato. <laughs> on our actual microwave. So if, obviously, I know this is pretty self-explanatory, I don't know why I'm explaining this to you, but if you wanted to cook potato, you would just turn it to potato and it would have the correct amount of time on it for it to be done or popcorn, which is really useful and really making me think that Americans, <laughs> we're not the healthiest people if we actually have those on our microwaves, but they were handy to have. A fridge with an ice dispenser in it. Yeah. I know quite a few people that have them here. But yeah, I guess they are on all the American fridges at home. Like everyone has them. And usually with the water as well. Um, so yeah, 
That is, that is another true one. Let's see. Let's find another good one. Oh, here's a good one. So, peanut butter, shoes indoors, garbage disposal, basement, ranch, guns, Bibles. I love those two are together. <laughs> Top load washer and an American flag. I can't really argue many of those. The shoes indoors, I think that one will depend on the family because we would never wear our shoes indoors. My mom would instantly be like, were you raised in a barn? We'd have to go straight back out and take our shoes off. So that was definitely no in my house. But maybe other Americans, that's that's cool. Don't know. Um, guns and Bibles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is, they were in, well, every house that I knew pretty much. But that is just normal for us. I know it's not normal for, well, the UK, especially the guns. But yeah, I mean, that is top load washer. Never even thought about that one, actually. The top load washer. I've never seen one here. But probably because they're usually like under the, the cupboards in the kitchen or something, aren't they? So then obviously you couldn't have the, the open to the top. But I never actually thought about that one. Because in the American ones, like they're, they're much bigger. In both of them usually open from the top. So you just shove everything in that way. So you don't have to bend down. <laughs> See, it's all about making life easy. <laughs> so many sauces, an entire refrigerator door with sauces. Yeah, we do love sauce. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, mayo, loads of dressings like ranch, honey mustard, um, we usually have, what else would we usually have in there? And we'd have like mustard, like relishes, pickles, so many different things. But this is another one that I brought here. Like if you look in, <laughs> if you look in my refrigerator, there are loads of sauces. But I mean, why not? Just adds to the food, doesn't it? Strange units of measurement. I'm just glad we aren't weighing ourselves with rocks like the breath. <laughs> with the rocks. Honestly, I'm pretty sure, well, I shouldn't say that. I'm not actually, I'm pretty sure stones is like four, like one stone is like 14 pounds, I think. Honestly, I've lived, well, I've lived here for over 10 years, as many of you know, and I still, when someone's like, oh yeah, they weigh like, 12 stone, 15 stone, that literally means nothing to me. If someone's like, oh, you know, they weigh about 150 pounds or, you know, whatever, 130 pounds, like I can visualize that. I still cannot with stones. I don't, I don't think I ever will. It's just, my brain just does not, it just doesn't work. Doesn't work. So yeah, that, that made me chuckle a bit. Hmm. All right, let's just do a couple more because there's so many on here. Let's see. <laughs> a flag, a pop tart, and a grill. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Every American has American flags, whether it be on the side of their house, decorations, on their shirts, whatever, they are in our houses. But I don't know. It's just. We are just very patriotic, aren't we? But it's, I don't know. I honestly don't know actually why we like it so much. I guess we just, we just do. We just do. And who doesn't love a Pop-Tart? Although they're not as good here, I will say. And that's probably because they're not nearly as sugary. So there's that. <laughs> a random baseball hat. Yeah. There's always... Well, they say a random. I mean, there's loads. Usually, you'll have them for like your local sports team for like your high school, your favorite like NFL team, um, NHL, whatever. We love sports merchandise. So most people have it. Girls, boys, kids, does not matter. Everyone have a baseball hat. What? One of those giant containers of orange ball food. <laughs> 
<laughs> Someone's actually replied with, I know you mean cheese balls, but I'm just imagining pellet food for Americans. Well, that's... <laughs> That's a bit, oh, I, f I felt that one because everyone I know, they come in really big plastic containers and they're just, well, they're just round cheese balls. That, that's what they are, but they're yummy. Or at least I used to like them. My palate has changed actually. Things, some things that I used to love growing up that I have now, I'm actually like, ooh, like it tastes like almost like some of the foods taste a bit chemically. That's like the best word that I can kind of put. They just don't taste the way that I remember them. But maybe that's just because I've lived here for so long. Which again, says something about uh, some of our food uh, in the States. <laughs> All right, let's do one. We'll do, we'll do a couple more because these are really good. Mm, let's see. Red Solo Cups. Well, how else do you have a party? Like even now when I have, if I have a party here, I get red soul cups. Why not? They're durable. You can put your name on if you want to with like a Sharpie. Doesn't matter, does it? Cause you just toss them in the bin. They're brilliant. Highly recommend them. Every household should have red solo cups. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Those oven mitts. Big gloves things they wear when they handle hot things. Yeah. I think I think we all use those. I mean, I don't know anybody that just puts their hands in the oven and just grabs out hot pans. That's just ridiculous. What is someone? Someone's actually. <laughs> someone's actually commented on that thing. They said, "I'm Dutch, and everyone in my country has oven mitts." Who doesn't have oven mitts? How do you get lasagna tray out of the oven without them? That's exactly right. How do you? What would you do? I mean, yeah, you could use a tea towel, but there's always the risk of getting burnt. Just use your oven mitts. That's what they're made for. I have them here. I think, I feel like most people have them, even here in the UK. All right, last one. Blocks of cheese. We do love our cheese. Yeah, we do love our cheese. However, I will say, at least in my family, it was never in blocks. We sliced our cheese. So like you go um, to the butcher or like the deli counter and you would get you like your lunch meat sliced and your cheese as well. Like we never had like blocks. Like actually to be fair, we never had blocks. You know, you, you have it obviously in the packs here, um, like the cathedral cheese and stuff. We didn't, from what I remember, we don't have it like that. It was always just sliced cheese for the most part. Um, and American cheese. <laughs> what is American cheese? But love American cheese. It's delicious and we always had it sliced. Yeah. Honestly, so many of those, I feel like they were inside my childhood home. I actually thought there were gonna be more like jokes or maybe even snotty remarks, but I was pleasantly surprised how accurate many of them were. And I'm pretty impressed so many people managed to get it spot on. Like there were some I didn't even think about that really made me smile. Like the orange ball food, a random baseball cap. And I know I said it earlier, but I'm still not convinced that everyone doesn't have a plastic bag full of plastic bags. I feel like everyone does that. I have them here in my kitchen. Like, what do you do? If you don't want to use a massive big bin bag, well, what do you use? Let me know in the comments. I love my life here, and in some ways, I feel more British than American, but I'll always be proud of where I'm from. Yes, it has its good and its bad, like anywhere else, but I'm lucky enough to be part of two fantastic countries. But let me know if you've enjoyed this type of video, and also if there's anything else you would add to the list, put it in the comments. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video. Dirty, then this, 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 this,